Are we heading towards a real estate bubble like we were 15 years ago? Hi, this is Rob with Elite Results Realty and want to talk with you about whether or not we are headed for another real estate bubble. There are three main factors that I'd like to discuss with you to determine whether or not we are heading into a real estate bubble similar to 2006 of the past. Uh, if you take a look at what is happening currently, one of the things I'd like to discuss is vacant homes. Uh, in the past, there were thousands and tens of thousands of homes sitting vacant before the bubble uh, that burst in the 2000s. What happened there is many homes were purchased on speculation. So people would purchase them and then let them sit there hoping that the prices would rise and then look to sell them later. And it worked for several months and even a, a, a year or so. What we're seeing right now is very few homes sitting vacant. So when uh, if there were to be a downturn, there aren't thousands and tens of thousands that would flood the market right away. Most of the homes are either occupied or rented in today's market. The second thing we'd like to take a look at is the cost to own versus the cost to rent. So before the bubble happened, uh, rental prices were actually declining. Uh, a big factor into that was that there were so many vacant homes. So when somebody put a home up for rent, there were very few people that wanted it because they had so many different options. Uh, contrast to that to today's market, when someone puts a home up for rent, there are 10, 20, even 100 different tenants that want to rent that home because there are very few homes sitting vacant. What that tends to uh, lead to is an increase in rental prices. Now the cost to own is also increasing but you have mortgage rates that are getting lower, which make the cost to own stay very affordable in comparison to rent. So if you're looking to buy or you're looking to rent, the cost is very similar, which does not tend to lead to a bubble. The last point I like to discuss, which is also very important, is people have to actually have to qualify for a loan. Uh, before the bubble, and one of the factors that led to the bubble, is lending standards were extremely um, liberal, which means that when somebody wanted to qualify, they did not have to show any documentation in some cases. They didn't show that they had to even have a job. They just had to have a credit score. Now, people have to show they have a job, they have to show that they have a down payment, and they also have to show that there's a, a probability that they will stay in that job for the future. So when you look at the past, when people did not have any money down and when they did not have a job or a job that could support the cost of that home, it would, would made it so that when the market did change, the, those people were ready to just unload their home very quickly, uh, leading to part of the bubble bursting. Uh, with people qualifying for loans, putting down payments down, having jobs, uh, it does not tend to lead towards the, the bubble of the past. So if anyone you know is wondering if we're in a bubble currently, feel free to share this video with them. And if you have any questions on your particular situation, feel free to reach out at the contact information below. Again, I'm Rob Hale with Elite Results Realty and hope you have a great day. Hey there, Nathan with Waterstone Mortgage. Hope you're doing well. So one thing to think about when looking for a good mortgage lender is you always want to know that you're working with somebody that you can trust and that they can close on time. Just about every mortgage lender can get the same rates these days. Uh, we have all the information about what other lenders offer and we're always good about meeting or beating what other lenders offer for the rate. But the way we work at Waterstone Mortgage is we are owned by a bank which means that we have plenty of liquidity and we have the resources to be able to close on time. We also can shop the rate for you because we're correspondent with other major banks such as Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. And we look at their rates and take whatever the best rate is they're offering and use it for our own rate. But we're still able to give you the best service because we process, underwrite, and fund the loan ourselves. So please be sure to always check with us. I've worked with Rob and his team for years and the main reason is because they know and trust us and they know that we'll take care of their clients and we have their best interests in mind. If you have any questions about mortgages or getting qualified for a mortgage, please contact me at the information below. 
I'm always available by email, phone, or text anytime.